I keep telling new farmers, before you venture into any farming, consider where you will sell your produce. Don't go by the rhythm that you hear people are planting this, people are planting this. My friend, you will end up with this scenario. You will have your produce and know where to sell and no bias. Let me show you what happened with this onion farmer. Now, this farmer once came into my uh, inbox and told me he's doing his onion and we are hoping for good. Then he harvested around, I think it was around five or six. Then by then, prices were falling. And then he decided the best thing he can do is to hold them until prices start rising. And this is where he had stored it. So sad. All the onions rust. All of them rot. Nothing. And you can see these are good big sized onions. At least they could have fetched a good product pro price in the market. And remember in farming, and I usually keep telling you these farmers, don't farm without a market. And even when you do, just dispose as per the current market price. The decision to hold the produce and wait for a price increase is a very, very big gamble, and especially for these very, very perishable produce such as onions. Now, in this condition, there is no one who can buy it. You cannot sell to anyone, so you've had a 100% loss. First of all, if it starts to rain, if it starts to rain, uh, it worsens the routine, you lose everything, and it becomes so sad. And remember, this farmer had invested all of his. He has done the drip irrigation. He had someone to take care of it, that is labor. And he had done all his level best to make sure that he has gotten some good yields. By the decision to hold the produce and wait for good prices in the market, this is what it results. It results to 100% loss. I won't talk about the quality and the produce and the variety, but one advice to farmers, when you harvest and if you have big tonnage, dispose it as fast as possible. That's the best way you can avoid 100% total loss. And remember, there's no big and small loss, all of it. 